what's going on with you, Riley? We haven't checked in with you in a while, Riley Mao. If you guys have ever met each other, Caleb no, and Riley. No, this is my first time meeting him. So the first thing that we said to each other was, um, hey. And then he said, well, you were gone. He said that he took a lot of pre-workout. So he's on pre-workout right, pre right now. And he could probably push out 150. I said, there's no way that's true. But I didn't know a thing about not ejaculating ever, which I don't believe. Um, and I'm not saying he's a liar, but I just don't believe it. Sounds like you're saying that he's a liar. Dude, one time I was in, one of the things we did early in my career, I was mm -hmm. had so many ideas. Yeah, well, well like what happened? One of my uh, interns at the time, he was an intern at Barstool. It wasn't necessarily mine, but he was a young fellow at Barstool. Mm -hmm. We uh, we saw how long he could go without coming. Mm -hmm. And so basically the rules were no sex, no masturbation, no, no doing anything that mentally would excite you to that point. Mm. You basically just have to live your life as a earnest and faithful man and we'll see how long you go before you just come and he went 21 days wow in his sleep so your body comes all the time is that true riley yeah riley give us an update you and i haven't checked in in a while either riley give us an update and i hate to just get right into your sexual nature but when the last we checked you'd never ejaculated is that honestly what what you're saying uh that is true and where are you at now with it Still haven't. Have you ever woke up like you woke up and then you had done it in your dreams or something like that? Uh, no, no, not that I could think of. Well, what do you mean that you could think of? Have you ever woken up and it seemed like somebody had, you know, shot a scene of Ghostbusters <laughs> in your pants? Uh, no, not really. See, that's and I find it tough sometimes to believe him, but that's what you did out the at the hunting trip. Wake up, <laughs> you look down and ah, oh, damn. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How's the dating life been for you? What's been going on, buddy? Uh, I've been getting out there more and more, but uh, still, still single. And he's not gonna burst or nothing until he's uh, wedded in wedlock as part of his um, religious affiliation. Is that right, bud? That's correct. Man. So do you like, I mean, do you, that's a, and that's part of like, if you're doing Christianity, a probably Muslim, like main, the main religions, I feel like that's part of it. Mm. So do you feel like, do you, does it make you nervous, Riley, to be like, to just think about just that you might do it and get married and then get nervous that like it will go, just not go how you want it to? Or like, how do you want it? How do you want it to go the first time? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's gonna, you know, you know, I'm gonna be nervous. I mean, it might not be as, you know, what I hope, but you know, we'll see. It it may. How much do you, know you think is in there? In him? I mean, it's a long time. How old are you? Twenty four. Mm. Yeah, that's a, how long? Do you, how much do you think is in there? Can you feel it? Oh, at least one of those like medium ice cream cup things. <laughs> uh, no, I don't feel it. Do you? Are, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna say. We don't know each other. But well you can enough. ask, he's very open about it, and we've discussed it over the years, is that he's <clears throat> waiting for God. Do you ever just pray that God touches you in your sleep or anything like that? I don't. Do you feel like, you're, do you feel like you are carrying it extra? Like, do you feel like your body has stopped? Your body is, like, tuned in to what you're doing, and it's like, all right, let's just shut down the production of this stuff for now until we got a wife. Or do you feel like it's still making it and if so, where do you think your body's holding it? Like if you ran out of room in your testicles or wherever it is, where do you think your your reservoirs are? Um, no, I just you know I just don't think about it. I don't really have any urges. It never came across in my mind. But in your mind, what are you talking about? Like surely you think about women and stuff, yeah? Oh yeah, all the time. Okay. So, but then how do you prevent it from getting to that sexual space where you're thinking about pleasuring yourself or rubbing your body on the carpet until you ejaculate? Uh, it, it just never gets to that point. Do you think it's because, like, you have good self-control or do you think that you're just blessed with, like, a unperverted disposition? So you just, you just got kind of lucked out, basically. Yeah, I think it's a mixture of both. That's the part I have trouble believing sometimes, and I don't mean I'm not calling you out about it, but I, I, do you feel like dormant? Do you feel like your wiener is dormant? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Damn, dude, well, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, are, but how are you going to get? I mean, how are you going to take that into a married marriage? Uh, I I don't know. It'll probably just you know 
happen when it happens. Do you worry that when it does happen, it will be too much? Like you just held so much of it so over the years that it will just be, when it does come out, it will be so much. Yeah, like you're going to have to call the manager or whatever. <laughs> oh, probably, but I mean, that might be a good thing. Oh, jeez, dude. How many, so how many kids do you think you're carrying in your body right now? Oh, jeez, maybe six. <laughs> six? I mean, shit. <laughs> Damn, Jeez, dog. You're like a dang semen mule. <clears throat> well, that's crazy, bud. What else? Are you, have you any interesting dates recently, Riley? Uh, kind of. I, I have a friend that's been uh, getting me out there more, mm -hmm. uh, meeting other girls at, you know, random places. And uh, if you had to describe these girls, like what type of women, like what ethnicity or something, give me one word to describe them. Uh, mostly white. Uh, very cute. Blonde brunette. Doesn't matter. Um... Yeah. Okay. Do you worry about meeting someone and like you meet the woman that you really like kind of woman of your dreams and then you think it's the one, but then at kind of the last minute she pulls out like, Hey, I wanna see if I wanna see if this this volcano goes off, you know? I just wanna see, test it for if it works, because maybe she doesn't wanna give me you know, go, go into a lifelong commitment just to make sure that the yeah, say you meet some bra and she wants to come you up a little before you guys get hitched. What what do you do? What will you say? Man, I would I would probably uh, Can you do that or you can't? I don't know. I never really thought about that. Well, what do you mean? It's like do you, what are your rules? Like can you do it or not? You know, like that's what I'm saying, buddy. I just, you know, you know what I'm asking him? Yeah, I think the rule probably is just no, can't do it. Damn. Man, well, it's amazing. I can't, I don't know anything that hasn't ejaculated in 24 years. Except for him. Well, he has. He has never. He has. You think he's lying? Yeah, well, because it'd be harder to say that if he was in this room, but since he's in the next room, <laughs> I, I can tell you he's lying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't want to say it to his face, but he's lying. And, and Riley, I don't mean that like that you've done it to yourself or anything like that. But I do mm -hmm. think it is it's science yeah. that your body will do it. And that's what that was our experience, uh, our experiment at Barstool was Will his name's Robbie. Mm -hmm. We said, when will Robbie's body do it itself? Yeah. When will it release itself? If Robbie's not gonna do it, when will it release itself? Then and it's it twenty one days. Oh wow. So I think it's around that. I think it's I think you can carry carry it for about a month mm -hmm. before it does it in your sleep. Yeah. That's what Kevin Gates says he does it all the time in his sleep. Really? Because he's he's a semen retender. Oh yeah, he's zemed out, he's edging or whatever. Yeah. So he said all the time he's just waking up just sticky sticky pants. And right. Also, I don't I don't I don't think like you're lying. I'm not, I shouldn't have said you're lying. I just don't think maybe you were sleeping when it happened. Is what I'm trying to say. No, if you were sleep, if you're you sleeping, know. you would know. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe not. Riley, anything else you need to talk about? What's on your mind? Um. Dude, Ryan, I'm sorry about what we said earlier. I'm feeling bad about it. I'm not. Someone needs to figure out. We've long wondered how much, what is the reality of it? And people say it a lot. Is Riley really, how real could this be that this man refuses to ejaculate in a very ejaculatory world? Yeah, no, it's it's 100% real. Do you feel like your joints work better and stuff like that? Like, uh, I feel I'm just like wondering it, yeah. where is it going? Because it's going somewhere. Because like you're a human body, it's all backing up in you. Like your whole body is full of semen. <laughs> how, how how much food can you eat before you're full? Uh a, a lot. But do you fall and like cut your leg and it feels so good? <laughs> like what's coming out of you? That's what I wonder. <laughs> when you bleed, like is it white? <laughs> uh, no, it's red. Damn, sheesh. Do you honestly, and this is a real question, do you think something is wrong with you or not wrong, but off with you? Uh, there might be. Do you feel like you might have some type of a sexual autism or something like that? Uh, possibly, yeah. Is, are you being serious or not? No, I mean, yeah, I, I have no idea. It could be a thing. Have you looked into that? I mean, if do you get it turned on by women? Yeah. How do yeah. you know when you're turned on? Oh, I, I just feel it. And what does it feel like? You get erection, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and then what do you do? Uh, that's the thing. It's like somebody hands you a Nintendo Switch, you never turn it on? No, I mean, it. I mean, I just don't do anything about it. 
Do you look at? I mean, you have to look at it probably. What do you? No. No, I just leave it alone. Do you feel like it's like mad at you, or do you feel like it's feeling like it's being poorly treated? Hmm. Like it's like it's kind of my like it's trying to it's trying to go in the game, and you're like Jameis Winston, and you're like, no, dude, we're sticking with Andy Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much. I feel like he's not giving us much information. Do you? I mean, it's a sensitive thing to talk about. I understand yeah. why he would not want to give us information, particularly me, since I don't know him. But it is interesting because it sounds like it's he's lying. Yeah, and I'm sorry, Riley. Am I making you uncomfortable? No, no, not at all. Okay. Would you tell Caleb the truth? Yeah, yeah, that that was 100% the truth. Will you tell me the truth when after Theo leaves? I will. Okay. Will it be the same truth you've already told him? Yep. One thing we don't realize is all little things have a play in where we are, mm -hmm. whether we want to admit it or not. Right. Because they, they affect how you also then want to do things. Right. It may have said him, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't. I want to do my own thing more. I don't. You know. I like some of this, but I don't like a lot of it. If I would have never done that experiment on Robbie Fox with the coming, I would. I would not think he's lying, right? But since I did that experiment in my life, mm -hmm. I know for a fact that he's coming at nighttime, mm -hmm. or even worse, or more more liarish <laughs> during the day. <laughs> Right now. I don't even know what he's doing right now. <laughs> no, dude. Well, he's all Riley's kind of a smaller and stature guy. How tall are you, Riley? I am five four. And so how much seam I mean, he's like has fuller. <laughs> he's like this guy. <laughs> you yeah, you got a lot in you, man. Oh God. It'd be beautiful. I just I think you men. Mm. A lot of older gay men would pay to watch him come the first time. I would pay to know how much it was, just to know. Someone just give me, send, text me the number of inches or, or it filled up in like a oh, water yeah. bottle. How much you think you got in you, Riley? <laughs> uh, probably a lot. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> gross, dude. That's gay, dog. That's <laughs> gay. Gross. Now we could do this. We could have a thing even for charity where we get people to bid, like guess a number, like how much little heck ounces or heck, you know, little mint, you know kill ounces or whatever mm -hmm. it is and whoever gets the closest but you can't do it for your own uh religious purposes you can't that's why you're not masturbating is that right riley correct okay if someone did it to you would you still feel good about it in terms of like what you're doing like you would feel would you feel like you committed a bad a bad thing if if theo <laughs> this is a crazy question i'm not i don't know if i'm gonna finish if theo tied you up back there and then had one of his listeners <laughs> come in and make you do it or do you think you have the willpower where even if that happened to you, you would be able to hold it inside? Um, I don't know. I think I might be able to hold it. First of all, that's a crime, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What about this? Bad we, question. Somebody ties you up. A couple Vietnamese dudes come in here and just start kicking you in a fucking dick. <laughs> you think you're going to fucking ejaculate eventually? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Oh, come on, dude. You got no respect for yourself. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. <laughs> This is a this is a question as old as yeah, time itself. Sorry about this, man. Yeah, we're probably yeah. This is insane. The question is old as time itself. Mm -hmm. It's the question usually is, would you kill one person to save a million people? You have to murder one person, but you know that it saves a million people you'll never see. But if you don't murder that person that's in the room with you, mm -hmm. those a million people, although you might not see them, they're gonna pass away. Would you fill up a water bottle to save those million people? I would probably not. You would let them die. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to kill a man. It would be a million of them, and children and women. Hmm. Well, that's not my problem. I'm not killing them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's Facts. just not masturbating. Facts. That's his rules. Facts. My Damn, bad. he stands my by bad. his my rules. Bad. My bad. That's good. So, Riley, are you in a hurry to get married? Do you feel like so you can be more sexually active? No, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm uh, just working on me and you know what I'm, what I'm doing in life. But how do you not get so distracted by women all the time? I mean, I mean, I. I don't get distracted, but I mean, you know, I see them when I'm out on tour, um, and you know, I talk to them and stuff, but I'm not really like looking for anything. Yeah. Dude, that, you save so much time. Oh yeah. You must have tons of time. <laughs> <laughs> like to save some, like that's, 
That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you could you could you could take an online class. You could do anything you want. The only the only thing that's actually suspect of this whole situation is that you're not a billionaire yet. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only reason I'm thinking you're lying is because you're not a billionaire. Because if you had that much time yeah. at your disposal, oh, you take women out of the equation. It's I mean, like I'm, a guy who just doesn't have to sleep. I mean, yeah, <laughs> he's up twenty four seven active. Dude, honestly, I, we could, I just have to piece of bed that I don't think I can think of anything else. That's fine. I'm like feeling like. I, kn- I can feel how he feels yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, we appreciate and respect whatever journey that you're on. And are you going to be okay no matter what? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And are you okay if other people are sexually active? Do you have judgment against those people? Uh, no, no, they just, they can live their lives as they please. Amen, brother. I mean, it's crazy to be out there and be like, and to be doing it. You know, I'm sort of, I'm very envious. Riley, do you think, I mean, obviously, Theo, or, you know, some people think there's people out there that think that's fun to hang around horny guys. Do you think that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you find it more exciting to be around horny guys? Would you rather hang out with a horny guy or a guy who's kind of maybe just thinking about something else? Probably a horny guy. Yeah. Why? Wow. Eh, it's more fun. Yeah. Why? Eh, I just feel like they they would be more fun than just a guy that's well, like me. No. No, Riley. I mean, that, that's that's not. Yeah, buddy, you're doing good, man. That's a myth. Also, I think that I'm, I'm going to choose to believe what you're saying. Not that it probably means anything to you. No, I, I appreciate it. But I think it. that I've, I've, I personally feel like we've put you kind of through the litmus test of mm-hmm. every question you could think of, and well, all of your answers, they all your answers hold up kind of like if you, yeah, none of the, none of your answers contradict one another, which I think is a good good sign. Yeah, no, I I appreciate it, Caleb, for sure. Yeah, and I think in the gay community, it's called a snick, uh, cinnamon cookie or something if somebody's never ejaculated. Do you fear that you could be involved in the gay community, Riley? Definitely not. Okay. Hmm. And not fear, but is it, you know, have you thought about it? Are you scared it? for your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're telling the truth. You know you pee sometimes in the car? Mm-hmm. And then you you're like I'm gonna pee in this water bottle, mm-hmm. and then it, you fill it all the way to the top. You're like oh, I got I got to cut the stream off, or something. It's gonna come out the top. Yeah, like, I got wonder if it would be the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got to kink the hose and get another water bottle. <laughs> yeah. Almost like when they're taking blood and they have to do that <laughs> thing and then grab the next one. Hope you enjoyed that video, and you can watch another, and you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.